This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS discoveries. I'm doing the physical computing unit and I'm on the lesson function with parameters. Color picker. In this program, press the button. Color picker. In this program, pressing the buttons at the bottom of the screen changes the color of the images and the color of the LEDs. Oh, cool. On our circuit express. Cool. Create a function. Use choose color with color as a parameter that changes each of the images and the color LEDs to the given color. Okay, so it will change, that changes each of the images and, okay, so we need it to change all of the stars and LEDs, I guess? Okay, you call your function in the event block so that it works with the buttons. So call means for it to run. All right, what do we have so far? Okay, so we have, ah, so on the event that we click the red button, so on the event that the red button is clicked, function, this all runs. Okay, and what that will do here, let's test it. Uh-huh, so this all turned red, and then our board here is red as well. So that code works. Instead of though, this is called hard coding. Instead of having it be red here, we want this exact same code for each color. The only difference is, well, the literal color, right? We want to set the star color property and the light bulb and change the LEDs using a loop to iterate through each LED. Because remember, LEDs are in this list called color LEDs. So color LED 0 is the first one, and that gets turned on. Then color LED 2 three, and we set the color here. So we want to do this exact thing, right? But we want to do it instead uh, with a different color. So a great way to repeat code if you want to make a small change is to use a function with a parameter. So now I'm going to gather, grab, I guess, all of this stuff and drop it into my function. And I can call my function, um, I don't know, color change. And then my parameter will just be color, right? And this is what we use as an argument. So I'm going to get rid of these. Everywhere it says red here, I just want it to be the parameter color because we're going to use it like we would a variable. And you'll see in just a sec. Color. So now we have all of these set to change to color, whatever that is. And color is what we're going to use when we call it. So calling a function is saying, hey, computer, run this bit of code. Oh, and look, red, yellow, blue. Perfect. So, uh, well, let's do, I don't know, blue first. I'm going to drop it in here. Now, what's my function name? So on the event that I click the blue button, this will run. What do I want to run? Color change. So I want it to run color change change and that will make sure that it runs all the code in here but i need to tell it what color to use and that's what we're going to use in place here so this is my blue function so i'm going to write blue in quotes just like they used to have red in quotes in our when we started this but now when i do this when i click on the blue button the computer says okay uh oh trigger this oh okay color change oh what's that oh here it is so i'm going to run this code all right well, set property star zero icon color to color. What's color? Oh, oop, oop. and it references back to where we called it, turns it blue, 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 blue. Let's test. But ah, but ah. <laughs> awesome. So now we just need to drop this in here and here, and we're going to call the function red, and then this is yellow. It's so much easier, too, doing this than think about having to copy and write all that code out several times. Let's try. Yellow. Ooh, that's really yellow. Blue, red, yellow, blue. It works. Ta-da! Awesome. Let's keep going. 